Good morning, everyone. In today's class, we will understand couplet. Okay, it is very important in a field of poetry or verse. We will try to understand uh, what is the meaning of couplet, what is the origin of this particular term, who propounded this particular couplet in poetry, and what are the different important types of couplet and examples together. Okay, so let us start the class. The origin of this particular word couplet is French language. Try to remember this. Meaning, two pieces of iron riveted or hinged together. The original meaning, that is the real, literal meaning in French language is two pieces of iron riveted or hinged together. That is a kind of symmetry can be noticed in this particular two pieces of iron, okay, while hanging together. In poetry, couplet is a unit of two successive lines of same meter and same rhyme scheme. I told you before what meter is and what rhyme scheme is. This is why I shall not repeat these things today. Okay, that is in poetry, a pair of successive lines, typically rhyming and of the same length, is known as couplet. Two lines, that is successive lines together, in a verse or poem typically rhyming rhyming together the last sound of each line rhyme to each other okay and having the same length try to remember these particular words such kind of couplet was introduced by geoffrey saucer the father of english poetry in his poem the legend of good woman and then he uh, introduced it used it in the canterbury tales as well okay i think you have uh, understood what the couplet is okay this is very simple two lines two successive lines having same meter having same rhyme scheme okay having uh, equal length is known as the couplet okay after geoffrey chaucer it was given a kind of perfection by john dryden during the restoration age and the uh, early 18th century poet and writer alexander pope you just try to remember these information before understanding the types and uh, examples of the couplet. Now coming to the first type of couplet. Number one, the heroic couplet. It was introduced by or invented by Geoffrey Chaucer. This particular couplet is used in the heroic poems that is the poems like the epics the narrative poems having uh, relatively greater subject matter greater way of presentation okay so such kind of couplet is known as heroic couplet it is same as the normal couplet no doubt but after using in heroic poems it is given the name of heroic couplet okay in heroic couplet what happens the meter is similar in both the lines generally the iambic pentameter i told you what iambic pentameter is in our previous classes in iambic pentameter what happens in one line five pairs of stress and unstress syllable is there in the line that is 10 syllables okay in one line now the rhyme scheme in pairs first two lines 
rhyme each other. Next two lines again rhyme to each other. Next two lines again rhyme to each other. That is A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. In this way, the writing process of the poems, the heroic poems go on using the heroic couplet. Two lines, two lines, two lines rhyme each other. Okay. For example, we can take two lines from the Canterbury Tales, which was written by Geoffrey Chaucer during 18, oh, sorry, 1400. Okay. The lines are, she was a worthy woman all her life. House bonders at Chaucer's door, she had a five. Here you can notice that both the lines are equal in length. That is five pairs of stress and unstressed syllable can be noticed in each the line. Okay. And the last sound live that is I and five that is I rhyme together in both the lines. This is why this is an example of heroic couplet. The Canterbury Tales is a narrative poem in epic form. Okay, so it is a kind of heroic poem, and Sosa uses the couplet in this particular poem, and therefore the couplet he used in this poem is known as heroic couplet very simple now coming to the next type closet or closed couplet everything is same as the heroic couplet but here each of the two lines is end stopped just try to remember uh, where i have highlighted and stopped that is grammatically complete in heroic couplet what happened both the lines are dependent on each other to mean something the first line cannot mean without the help of the second line that is to complete the meaning they need each other but in closed couplet what happens both the lines okay both the lines have or has the quality to mean something they are complete without each other they do not extend their sense beyond the lines and that is beyond the lines and there is no meaning they can mean at the end of the line itself without the help of the others okay so try to remember that Generally, the poets use the comma, full stop, the question mark, and other type of such kind of punctuations at the end of the line to show that this is complete. Okay, for example, Alexander Pope's essay on criticism, we can find the lines like, a fool might once himself alone expose. Now, one in verse makes many more in prose. Here also we can see that both the lines are composed of uh, the lines, sorry, the lines are composed of the iambic pentameter, no doubt. Same as the heroic couplet. But here we can notice the use of comma and the full stop, meaning that both the lines are meaning something without the help of the other okay so this is called grammatically complete or and stopped this is why this type of couplet is known as closet or closed couplet i think you have understood now coming to the third type octosyllabic couplet or short couplet octosyllabic that means eight syllables in each the line. One line is composed of eight syllables. That is four pairs of meter. Oh, sorry, 
four type pairs of uh, stress and unstress syllable. Okay, I think you can get what I am trying to say. Four four pairs means I am big tetrameter. Okay, here we can notice this particular distinction from the other two types of uh, couplet. It is also a kind of closed couplet. That is, here also we can notice the use of comma, use of full stop, use of the other types of uh, punctuation marks, symbolizing that the lines are complete. Okay, usually, usually such kind of uh, octosyllabic couplets or short couplet was used by Samuel Butler in his hudibrastic poems I, I think you know what hudibrastic poems are in the last classes we discussed uh, hudibrastic poem as well okay and as the colors in his poem like Christabel I think you understood what is the meaning of couplet what is the use of couplet who used couplet what are the types of couplet what are the examples of couplet and how it is relevant in the poems okay so this is for today thank you so much